Let's move into the whole landlord and tenant conversation because also a very hot topic these days. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Mahmoud and I were discussing <laughs> a bit earlier about evictions and obviously we are in a... An increase and... In, yeah. in a... In a I would say it's a seller's market a little bit because, you know, certain pockets of the market, there's, there's huge demand and there's a lot of evictions going out, right? So one of the questions that people always ask is, if I get an eviction and during that process, the property sold someone else, do I have to still move because now my landlord is a different landlord? Okay, a good one. Um, so let me rephrase it uh, to make sure I understood you correctly. So sure. the owner sent an eviction letter that they want to sell the property correct, yes. and give them 12 months to evict. To notice, correct. And then during because probably because the new owner wants to move in, right? This is typically... Uh, or to sell. They are trying to yeah, sell here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. if they, because you have to give a notice for a specific reason that you want to sure. use the property sure. for. Yeah? So if you are selling, you're going to give a notice for the selling the property. And then during this uh, notice period, which is 12 months, mm -hmm. the, the owner actually finds a seller, yes. uh, sorry, a buyer, and sells the property. Correct. Now the tenant wants to know if they have to honor yeah. the deadline or no. Yes. The answer is no. <gasps> The answer is no because hold on. Mm -hmm. yeah hold on. because yeah. previously it wasn't the I case. I didn't know that. Previously it wasn't the case. Previously the uh, you wait uh, for the remaining uh, period of time and then the new owner can ask for eviction. Now it's not the case anymore. Now as per the new rules and regulations the notice that was served by the first owner will not stand anymore. So the new owner the moment they take over they will serve another notice and they have to give them another 12 months for a tenant, then ask for eviction. Mm -hmm. mm, that's super interesting. It is. It changes a lot of things, especially uh, it affects the properties that uh, are tenanted. No, and, and that's the whole point. So many people receiving eviction notice and they are asking this point. You yeah. Know? So if I'm buying a property and I want to use this property for my own use, for my self use, sure. then, and the property has a tenant, I should not really rely on, on the, the notice that was sent, the, notice, unless if the a tenant original. decides to leave. Yes, right? of course, yes. Uh, but otherwise I have to do my calculation that I'm buying this property, I still have to give a 12 months notice, then only I can ask for eviction. Hmm. Wow, that's that's, very important information mm. because a lot of people rely, both the tenant gets in distress because he needs to move in, mm. you know, brokers viewing the properties every five minutes, which obviously they should allow, right? The tenant should the allow viewing, to yeah, a certain yeah, as extent. As long as reasonable. And but they also should understand that, that when if the property is sold before the expiry of the 12 months, then another 12 months. You, you're going to actually, you, you could mm. ask the new yeah, Landlord. actually a lot of sellers, they use this uh, eviction notice as also uh, an interesting thing. They tell the new buyer that, look, there is an eviction, yes. two months are left and this yeah, guy yeah, will yeah. leave. So a lot of people buy with an aim of moving, then yes, they find absolutely. themselves renting out. Yeah, I've heard a lot of such stories. Um, and in some cases, the seller, they don't know this. Yeah. So they're not misguiding. Yeah. They're actually telling them that what they think is true, but it's not. So they say that only two months is left and then you can ask for eviction because they are not aware of this new mm. uh, change in the law. 